point out here, this is the first turn and a lot of people think this is the way up to the rock garden, when in fact it's not. This one actually goes off across the pebble plain, which is what we're trying to keep people from doing. So you can kind of log this one in. This is not the right turn. We haven't gotten up here yet to put a fence across here and block it off, but we will be showing the correct way. So stay tuned. split in the Gold Mountain Trail. Uh, the legal trail goes to the left. To the right is the rock quarry. It's also called the Bone Yard, the Rock Garden. It actually is a, was a rock quarry from a mine back in the 1960s and 70s, which is now defunct. Uh, the route to the left is on the motorized vehicle use map and is the legal route. The Forest Service doesn't have an issue with going through the quarry because it's just big boulders. There's no, no place to damage it. It's not the pebble plane. Uh, the pebble plane they want you to keep off of for obvious reasons. There's uh, endangered species out there. Uh, but the quarry is okay. Eventually, the Forest Service wants to make this a single route trail. One of these is going to be closed. We're lobbying to keep the quarry open and to close the uh, illegal route to the, to the left.
the rock garden. Uh, it's also a quarry. Actually, it is a quarry. That's what started it back in, what'd you say, the 60s and 70s? Yeah, the 60s and 70s. Some poor mining company got started and then it just failed. Well, it failed because apparently the Forest Service reneged on the permit after the guy had already set up operations here. So. Oh, isn't that nice? <coughs> yeah. So anyways, to clear things up, because I know there's been a lot of confusion of people saying, we're not supposed to be on the rock garden. Well, we're not supposed to be on the pebble plate. This is the rock garden or the quarry. It's not necessarily a legal route, but the Forest Service just kind of says, well, yeah, that's okay. So it's a fun spot. Everyone uses it. There's really not a problem with it. You take the first entry to this, which is an illegal route, it actually crosses part of the pebble plate. And it also ends up about halfway through, so you're missing most of the fun of this trail if you take that route in. So the, the uh, legal route in is what we showed you earlier where the ro legal road splits off to the left and you, you basically go straight where that big tree is if you want to come across the, through the uh, quarry or the rock garden. It's also called the bone yard, which when you hear the vehicles driving by, you kind of... Yeah, get makes a cool sound. Yeah. Sounds like it's really deep, which or, it probably is. Or fingernails on a chocolate <laughs> or something. Yeah, some people don't like it. So it kind of makes some people cringe, but yeah, uh, the pebble plane is over that way. Um, but this is not a pebble plane, it's a boulder field. Not many pebbles here. This is a boulder field. So it is pretty obvious back there. The first route looks like a good right turn and you think, oh, that's where we're supposed to go. But that's not it. You get to a place where the road splits and it's definite. You can see the road splitting one way and the trail going the other way that heads to the rock garden. There's a big down fallen tree that you're gonna drive right up to and hook a right and that puts you right here just behind where the camera is and then you can uh, it's a pretty obvious path coming through here but exiting out of the rock garden or the quarry is a pretty gnarly trail coming up so be prepared
we are at the end of Gold Mountain, intersecting with 3N16, which is right in front of us. And um, one of the problems with this trail is it's a two-way trail. It's uh, perfectly legal to go either direction. But especially on weekends, going from 3N16 up the trail basically is the wrong way. You're going to encounter a lot of traffic. And uh, that can cause a real mess on this trail. So it's really better to come from the Highway 18 end of the trail. Also, right up here, probably the 100 feet or so, there someday, soon, hopefully, there will be a gatekeeper uh, for the same reason we've done a gatekeeper on the other side. Once that gate is up across the easy part of the road, we'll be putting a gatekeeper up here. So uh, watch for that. I'm not sure when it'll happen, but uh, we hope it's pretty soon. <laughs> here we are at the end of Gold Mountain Trail, right where we meet uh, 3 and 69, Gold Mountain meets 3 and 16, which gets you out to Holcomb Valley, starting at the dump, if you're familiar with that in Big Bear. Uh, today's video was just pretty much to show you the, the correct areas to go, areas that people were confused on that they thought they weren't supposed to go, but it's actually okay. Rock cart. Uh, showing some illegal bypasses, and a little bit about what we plan on doing with the gatekeeper back here at the north end of the trail, where we meet 3 and 16. Uh, it's been a good day. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully we've cleared up a few things. Uh, we did see some some broken down vehicles, and I won't tell you what valve they ended in. So apparently I pissed people off the last time, so that's just the way it is. Uh, really nice folks. Uh, it was just one of those sayings he broke for Bud Spindle. Uh, as you can see, we've got other people here that are driving past uh, doing the Holton Valley route. Anything you want to add? Yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, Really good year. We had a lot of growth on our channel. Uh, if you made it this far through this video, hopefully uh, you'll hit that subscribe button and uh, click that little bell so you're notified when we do new, new videos because we've got a lot of videos coming up this year. And we're filming this a few days before Christmas. Hopefully, this video will be out around Christmas, maybe a little sooner, but definitely before the, the uh, new year starts. So, we'd like to wish everybody, all of our viewers, and a, 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 a happy new year. All of our subscribers really want to thank you for uh, subscribing and uh, helping push us over that 1,000 subscriber mark this year. We really appreciate it. Happy holidays. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody.